In the UK, the government has committed to not just build back better, but to build back greener. With nearly £650 billion of related projects, the UK's early commitment to decarbonisation and its advances in renewable energy are creating a rich environment for investors to power a clean future. Renewable energy is at the heart of the UK's 10-point plan for a green industrial revolution to accelerate our path to net zero. The government is helping to advance the next generation of low-carbon technology with £285 million of funding a year for green energy projects and by investing up to half a billion pounds in new hydrogen technologies. We're ready to create green jobs and business growth opportunities at home and around the world. We've got the biggest offshore wind market in the world, but we're also doing onshore wind, solar, hydrogen, bioenergy, a whole mix of clean technologies. In around the last decade, investment in renewables has turned a niche technology into a technology that's generating one third of our electricity today. We expect it to be the majority of our energy mix and a net zero power sector by the 2030s. Increasingly what the government will do is fund every stage of that journey, right from the very first idea in a university through to those technologies being available at mass market in exactly the same way as coal underpinned the last industrial revolution. Renewables are underpinning the economy of the future. The turbines at Doggerbank are over 200 metres tall. One sweep of the blades of one turbine is enough to power a UK home for two days. On these screens, there's 150 plus turbines. There's a massive amount of technology in these things. We can rotate the blades to make sure we get optimum power output, and we do all that from here. What the UK provides to a company that really wants to decarbonize and achieve net zero is it provides the opportunities, but it also provides the framework and the comfort that we need to invest billions of dollars Another thing we like about the UK is our ability to test different processes and models. It's pushing the boundaries of technologies that it's prepared to facilitate. We are playing big parts in those areas as well, like floating offshore wind alongside fixed, like encouragement on battery storage, like hydrogen, like carbon capture. So the UK is helping facilitate companies to invest and develop technologies to be those technologies for the future. The UK seems to have a thread that runs through all departments, which is this goal for net zero, and that's really helpful. Something that we have as a company as well, it makes business easier for Equinor. There isn't a way to live without energy, but there is a way to make it clean and sustainable. The UK is already making that transition, and that presents huge opportunities, both here and around the world. <laughs>